Hi, Izzy Clark here. In June, I explored the extremely fast science of speed and headed to some racetracks with McLaren and their 600 LT Spider supercar. Whilst Formula One and petrol racing have a huge fan base, we also seen the rise of electric racing, Formula E. We didn't have enough time to include this interview in the main show, so here's an extra bonus interview for you. I spoke with Rodi Basso, McLaren's motorsport director, about the future of racing. Motorsport keeps looking at the trends in the outside world and for the future of our industry, we of course see the connectivity, the electrifications and the cloud computing as one of the three main pillars of our future. Formula E, this is electric racing. What does that involve and how involved is McLaren in that? Formula E is the first electric race championship. We are very much involved from the beginning because in the first year, McLaren applied, managed to supply to all the teams uh, with the ECU and the motor and the power electronics that is needed to run the electric motors. We are part of the journey since the very beginning. Now, from the current season, we are also supplying the batteries. And in particular, this battery that we have developed allows to run the race with only one car without swapping cars because of the limit in technology and capacity of the previous solution. So it has been successful so far. We have three races to go this season, but we will keep going also for the future years with this solution. And it's been a great success. What are the key differences between electric and petrol racing? In terms of performance, uh, the Formula E cars are running in cities, um, so they have very narrow track width. So the top speed is not really something that is important for this sport. What makes it exciting is the battery management. So the drivers have to be aware of how much energy they're using in order to be first. But first of all, they need to finish the race, of course. Um, and the second aspect is uh, the acceleration in the very beginning. So electric cars have the unique characteristics of uh, being very fast in the initial acceleration. Are there any hurdles to overcome with you know, battery development? How do you think the future of electric racing will change and what will it look like? So far, the anxiety or the hurdles were about the range. But as we have demonstrated with the Formula E application here in McLaren, the technology available is such that the range, so the distance that you can uh, drive the car for, is something that is uh, definitely improving uh, year by year. On top of that, there are other technologies that are coming that are related to supercharging, which will allow to charge the car in much less time than uh, used to be only five years ago. And uh, I think this will, A, compensate the range anxiety, uh, and B, make the the, the electric car more uh, popular and more uh, usable uh, in cities or uh, country, in the countries, uh, countryside, and, and so forth. And how does that supercharging work? Well, it is very much about the chemical that you use for for the battery and, and, the, and the charging technologies. And uh, the final goal is really to reduce from uh, 40 to one hour that you need today to charge a car to go really into less than uh, 10 minutes. Of course, I'm talking about road application. In racing, we are looking also at how we can apply this. And the biggest technology challenge will be about reliability and safety of uh, the system and uh, uh, also availability of uh, the chemical on the battery side to make sure that you get the charging level that is needed. I have to say the other interesting aspect of racing is that we work on uh, what is called power density more than energy density. So... The energy density is about how much distance you can drive the car for. Power density is about efficiency, okay? So how much energy you can use in the smallest possible amount of time. So focusing on power density helps a lot, all these studies around the fast charging.
And do you think the future of racing is purely in electric vehicles or do you think we'll still see, you know, the typical Formula One that we're used to? Well, it really depends on, the, of course, the, the range that we are looking at. If we look from now to, let me try to be brave enough mm-hmm. to say from now to 2050, I believe that also racing will go through a journey of hybrid to electric. ICE, which is uh, internal combustion engines, are uh, working uh, and making also very good progress in improving their efficiencies, in uh, becoming less and less uh, polluting, uh, in using uh, smart fuels in order to uh, improve the emissions. So, of course, the technology is also improving on that side. The real answer for the electric, and this will definitely make a big change in, in all the industry scenario is to understand how to improve the emission figures at 360 degrees. Because of course, battery needs energy and we need to understand how we can produce this energy in a efficient and zero emission or low emission way. That was Rody Basso, Motorsport Director of McLaren Applied Technologies.